Hey folks, this is Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, here with another episode of iCarry. In today's video, we have a Kimber Aegis Pro with a red dot sight in a Galco holster. Let's take a closer look at this kit. We've run a number of red dot equipped pistols here on iCarry, and if there's one common trend, it's that the vast majority of handguns upon which one might find a red dot are of the striker fired variety. If you're a fan of the 1911 platform, but were curious about red dot equipped pistols, you can be forgiven for thinking your options are limited. There are a lot fewer 1911 style pistols out there with options for mounting a red dot than polymer frame guns. Sure, there are some amazing 1911s out there with milled slide for Trijicon RMRs and such, but what about more affordable options? Well, as it turns out, Kimber offers its Aegis Elite line of 1911s with red dot sights already installed. Available in 9mm and 45 ACP, and in 4 and 5 inch barrel versions, the optics installed OI variants come from Kimber with a milled slot for a Vortex Venom red dot sight. With a steel frame and slide, the Aegis is a solid pistol, weighing in at a hefty 40 ounces with empty magazine and red dot sight attached. In the 9mm version especially, this translates into an extremely pleasant to shoot handgun, meaning you'll be more likely to put in range time, when you can find ammo that is. Numerous thoughtful features go into the Aegis Elite. For starters, G10 grips and 24 LPI front strap checkering keep the Aegis anchored in the hand even under rapid fire shooting. Sights are suppressor height to co-witness with the red dot optic with a traditional three white dot arrangement. The heel of the grip is rounded to help reduce printing, while the beaver tail helps keep hands free of hammer bite. Artful slide serrations assist in charging the Aegis, which uses a full length guide rod. Simply because you prefer the 1911 style of handguns doesn't mean you're out of luck when it comes to a red dot sight. Kimber's Aegis Elite Pro OI includes a red dot sight, thoughtful upgrades specific for concealed carry, and a price tag surprisingly affordable considering it includes the slide cut and red dot sight. It's one of the least expensive ways to get into the red dot game for fans of the 1911. While the Vortex Venom is included in the Kimber Aegis Elite Pro OI, it's also available as a standalone optic. Offering either a 3 or 6 MOA dot, the version we have is the 6 MOA dot. The Venom uses the Dr. Burris Fastfire footprint to mount to a pistol. Controls are simple. Windage and elevation changes are made using the right side and top mounted dials and use one MOA clicks. Brightness is controlled via two buttons next to each other on the left side of the optic. The CR1632 battery installs via a top mount system, meaning you don't have to remove the optic to change batteries. This is handy, as you don't have to worry about re-zeroing the sight just because it needed a battery change. Vortex claims 150 hours of battery life on the highest setting and as long as 30,000 hours on the lowest and has the ability to toggle between manual mode and automatic brightness detection. Remember a little while ago when I said that 1911s with mounted red dot sights weren't very common? This is supremely important to remember when selecting a holster, as even open topped holsters may not allow a red dot equipped 1911 to fully seat. This is a case where the gear search needs to be really specific and led me to the Galco Avenger belt holster for the Kimber Aegis Elite Pro OI. Constructed of premium steer hide and featuring adjustable tension fit, the Avenger's design keeps it close to the body. A neutral cant keeps the pistol in an upright position, while the loops can accommodate belts up to one and three quarter inch wide. Avenger holsters are available for a wide number of pistols, can be ordered for right or left handed shooters, and come in either black or tan. For more information on the items we've chosen for today's kit, or to see other guns and gear combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.